What's up guys? Sorry it's been a little bit, but it's good to see you guys again. I hope each and every single one of you are having a great day, but today I'm trying to get some parts for my car because I broke a few things. It's still running really good, but I'll show you guys what I broke. I'm also trying to pick up a block and maybe some more uh, car parts, but I'll show you guys what we're getting into today and uh, we'll just go get all the goodies. Gotta get that pull in, you know. See what the top speed is of this baby. Huh. Alright guys, we made it back with all the parts. Wait, don't close that. As you can see, I got a lot of them. But I'm gonna hurry and unload them. Hold on. Get a little closer. guys so we made it back and I have a lot of car parts that I just barely bought let me show you what I got starting with this block I have a Mazda speed stock bear block and this is gonna be the block that we are building we are going to be boring out each cylinder to 88 millimeters and doing a 500 to 600 wheel horsepower type build I also have these awesome mainly rods and molly pistons now before i open them up i want to give a huge shout out to evolutionary performance artem and cody they always hook me up at evolutionary performance that's where i bought these rods and pistons i bought both of them from evolutionary performance i'll link them in the description but you guys should definitely check them out and follow them on facebook but getting to these pistons these are molly pistons and talking with artem he said these should be perfect for my uh five to six hundred wheel horsepower build these pistons are going to be good for like really any amount of horsepower like 800 plus but with the build i'm doing i'm not going to make it that high i'm uh only going to be about five to six hundred but as you can see they look incredible let me pull one of the pistons out for you guys so you can see it all right you guys so this is what the piston looks like these are the molly pistons that i'll be running and uh, as you can see, they'll go in each cylinder, but uh, we have to get this block machined, decked, pretty much the whole thing. It's gotta be 88 millimeters because these pistons are 88 millimeters and the stock bore is 87.5. So we'll gain a little bit of power just by having slightly bigger pistons. And then of course uh, we can run more boost and stuff like that. But those are the pistons that I'll be running. This whole uh, piston kit came with all of the rings and uh, piston uh, wrist pistons for the rods, which are right there. As you can see, both those. But don't worry, guys. We'll be getting into like every little detail when we actually assemble the motor and after all of the uh, machine work has been done. Should take about a week, so it's not really that much downtime. We'll definitely have this build done pretty soon. But uh, yeah, as you can see. We got all the goodies. Oh, nice. Ooh. Now look at that. Mainly rods, baby. So these are H-beam rods and these are good for about five to six hundred i think they're rated at like 
600 and 620 but uh they definitely can be pushed a little bit more since i'm not running that much power they should be uh, just fine now i know you guys are wondering if my mazda speed motor has blown up yet because i'm trying to build this one and it hasn't i did run into a slight issue with it though i broke the uh well i didn't really break it but i guess it broke on its own uh the uh math the intake math um, the mass airflow sensor, which is this guy. So I need to put that on still, but uh, I've just been kind of being lazy with the car because it's winter right now and it is so cold. As you can see, the car is just chilling outside, but uh, yeah, it just needs a little bit of work. Just got to throw that guy in there and then we'll be uh, boosting pretty good. But we're definitely going to have a drifting snow video come out for the Speed 6. So be ready for that guys where we shoot some flames and get some good drifts in. I hope you guys are as excited for this build as I am because I really just want to prove that this like Mazda Speed platform, the Mazda Speed 6 platform really can be an incredible platform and make lots of power. So I hope you guys are on board with this and you're excited for it because it's coming and it's going to happen really soon. I just need to drop that off at the machine shop and then uh, start assembling it, but it shouldn't be too long. I think I'm aiming for about a month uh, for a completely finished project, maybe a month and a half. Uh, I don't know. I've never really done it before, but I hope you guys are excited. Please subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.